Hello everybody and welcome to a milder water YouTube video. It's been quite a long time since I've last uploaded on YouTube, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to come back and post some stuff. Um, I've noticed that um, I've been checking YouTube more frequently and um, seeing the lack of uploads has been quite disappointing. <laughs> so um, I think it's time to finally uh, come up with something else to, to bring to the channel. Um, I will say, um, this is probably the most random video ever, because, I mean, <laughs> it's me doing a tier list. Um, I've never done a tier list on my channel before. Um, I've done it on my Twitch channel, which I spend more time on nowadays, but, like, for YouTube, I've, <laughs> I haven't done one in, like, forever. I, I, excuse me, at all. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, um, I thought it'd be kind of fun. I love playing Mario Kart. I love doing all that. Um, I'll probably still make some edits and some funny, you know, low-quality memes and whatnot on my, uh, channel still, but... It'd be kind of cool to upload something like this every once in a while, a, a tier list. Uh, I have no idea who's going to be watching this kind of stuff, but if you're here, welcome in, welcome in, um, and let's go on. So, um, Smart Card 8 items, I assume 8 Deluxe, same thing. I thought I heard somewhere that, um, like, the Feather is, like, a new thing in the battle mode. Um, but it's not on here. I don't really play battle mode, so I guess it's a good thing it's not on here, or my opinion would not be too valid with it. Um, okay, there you go. Alright, I was gonna say, if there's an F tier, that's good, because, uh, the coin will be the first one on there. Um, the coin is not good. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I just, I despise it. It's more likely you're gonna get it in, like, the top three of any race. Um, I think I've seen it in other spots, too. I don't remember exactly, but I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what, like, it's... If I'm in first place, or I'm in the top, I'm probably gonna get shot at, and I want something to defend myself. And then out comes this. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a shell, I'll take a banana, like, come on, give me something. Um, so I'm a little disappointed whenever I see the coin. I know, at least in Water Card 7, I know that once you have 10 coins, it maxes out. I don't think they do that in this game, but like... From my, from my knowledge, I believe um, there might be like a hidden stat where it makes it a little faster every time you collect a coin. Um, I know when you collect coins, there's a uh, once you reach a uh, certain threshold, you're going to be able to unlock new items and new things for your vehicle and not anymore. Or eight deluxe, um, so that's cool. But like in terms of like the in-game use, I mean, this is you know everybody's everybody hates it. <laughs> you know it's. I, I just, I don't know, I, I'm just not a big fan of it at all, so, it's not too fun. What would be the next option? I know I just picked it out of the bottom here, but I just thought, you know, it's easy to start with. Um, it's a bit, like, in between, I could put in, like, B. I'm trying to think of something that would be, like, perfect to fit in there. Maybe the Piranha Plant. Um, if I, like, not butcher the names, but, like, misword the names, I mean, <laughs> I apologize, um, you know, I just kind of call it the Final Plant. I mean, I believe that's what it's called, like, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, it's a fun item, you know, I, I like it. It gives you a little boost when you keep chomping away. You can also take out your enemies, that's cool as well. Uh, so it certainly has got a lot of use, but, you know, I, I don't find it to be the most effective item out there. Um, but, like, it's solid, you know? I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Like, it's 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 got more good than bad, so maybe I should put it a little higher than B, but it doesn't really fit with the other ones I'm going to put in the A category, if that makes any sense. And as, I begin, as I go through this, of course, um, for those who might be commenting down below, like, just let me, you know, and I guess viewers who also don't comment, um, this is just my opinion, so feel free to, um, you know, explain why you might want some items above or below others, um, but this is just my opinion, so, um, take that for granted, I mean, <laughs> um, I think I've had some good experience during my times playing Mark at 8 Deluxe, so, like, I feel like I have a little bit of, um, an idea of what I'm saying, but obviously, like, everybody's got their own opinion, and I'm certainly not that great, <laughs> so, um, I'm sure a professional one I would have much more of a um, elaborate, elaborate <laughs> reasoning on, um, what to go with, but, um, I think just a casual player like myself, uh, has a little bit to say that could be helpful, uh, for you guys, uh, or give you a, a little bit of perce uh, perception on 
items you might not have thought were as useful or, or as bad as uh, you might have thought. <laughs> but, um, but yes, anyways, moving on. Um, oh boy. Here's a golden easier one for me, the Bullet Bill. I love the Bullet Bill. I think it came out first in Mario Kart Wii. Came out, I think, then, and ever since then, I think it's been a main staple in the in the games. Like, if you're down in trouble in the, uh, you know, like, eighth place or further down, you know, it's like, this is, this is great, you know, an awesome item to be able to recover from and get back into the game. I know I've used it a lot, especially when I first started out with a few of the games, um, especially when I was younger, too. I'd be down, and um, I'd be pretty f far back. Um, I'm not used to the maps when I was younger and whatnot too, so like, um, I might hit the wall. <laughs> I might uh, plop a uh, a drift. I might um, I might just have some bad luck and be you know ending up in you know in a, in a far back spot. So the bullet bell is huge to be able to come back because Mario Kart is so random, so you don't know what's gonna happen. Um, that bullet bill could give me momentum to take first place for all I care, you know, for all I know. Excuse me. Um, and I think that's awesome. I think that's that's great. I love I love the bullet bill, and easy S tier because um, you also get you know the the best thing that could happen is you're riding the bullet bill. Maybe not like dead last, but you know you're picking up speed. You're going past people. Then the lightning goes down. You're invincible, just like the star. You're invincible as you're in that bullet bill. So like you're not gonna get the effects of the lightning, but you're going to be able to escape. With uh, with the benefit of a lightning, you know, item. So I think that's really cool. Um, a little overpowered, but I mean that's just the luck of the draw. That's how Mario Kart works. So I think that's great. Um, so S tier for sure. Um, hmm, what's next? Triple red shell, probably S tier as well. I mean, like it's a red shell, but three of them. Like I'm sure it's rare to find, but like you can hit three guys on your way to first place. You can hit the same guy in first place three times separately. Like um, you can you can have them as fence for me to like, you know they're they're the best like utility tool I have found in Mario Kart. Like it's got the best practicality. Like I can, it's 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 got a lot to offer. Um, whether you want to play defensively, offensively, uh, I mean it's it's perfect for what um, I need. I'm always excited when I see it. It's always a good sign too. Whenever I see an item come up it, um, from the item bo uh, item box and just seeing something puts a smile on my face, like the uh, like the triple red shell. That's that's always good news. It's always a good reason uh, to put an S tier. Um, but of course, you know, again, practicality wise and uh, and whatnot. I mean, it's it's got everything you need. Um, I don't know exactly where you get it. Like when like in um, you know one through twelve, I don't know where uh, it starts to be more easier to find. I tried looking up a list on like the um, the uh, I guess the how do I explain it? Like the availability of each item, I guess you could say. Like the more the more easier to find, um, the better chances of getting that item. I try to look up a like a like I guess some sort of a list. Um, it was a little confusing. Um, it's like there's I guess different stats for different game modes, so it was kind of confusing. I I do believe though, uh, recently they've changed it where it's you have more of a chance to get the item based on how far you are from the leader versus your actual rank. So like if I'm in like, I don't know, sixth place, but the leader is like so far ahead, you might have a better chance of being a better item, is what I've heard. Um, you know, don't call me on that, but I some very um, quick research, I think I found found that somewhere as I was looking this up. I'm like, that's kind of cool. I don't know specifically, of course, but I mean, that's pretty solid, you know? Um, all right, what else? Um, oh, all right. Speaking of just like that, the triple mushroom. <laughs> um, same, well, not exactly the same thing. I'd say this is more offensive, um, like really big help. Like when I was little, I wasn't a big fan of mushrooms because I just spam them. I mean, I like them, of course, but I would just spam them like anything. Like boom, 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 one, two, three, and I used them all. But now it's like you gotta. Now that I've played a little longer, I feel like it's more important to take your time with it and like. Um, use them uh, sparingly uh, so whether it's saving them for a shortcut you can cut through, cut through some grass um, get evade capture by I don't know you know instead of getting like hit by something or 
point. Now you can probably like dodge and weave with the uh, mushrooms. Um, and like each individual mushroom was nice, you know, using them uh, a little more spaced out than like all together. Very big help for me. Um, and they've been great. Um, you know, like the, the biggest thing is cutting through uh, grass and whatnot. Like Moomoo Moo Meadows, there's like this one port. Uh, there's one, there's one portion of it where you can kind of cut through a lot of a lot of time by using these mushrooms. And I've been able to snag um, at least a few first places from that. Moving on. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like a like a negative item to bring out. I think I found it. The blooper. I used to call this guy the squid when I was little because, you know, ink, you know. Or no, is that, is that an octopus or a squid? Oh, shoot. I think it's an octopus, actually. Forget what I said. Um, the blooper. Yes. Um, I don't particularly like the blooper. I think he's, like... It's a cool idea, but they need to, like, make it more effective, I think. Because, you know, the ink gets in your face, but you can kind of still see. And it drips down, so it's easier to, you know, it gets easier to see by the second. It is a pain, but like you can kind of live through it, and I feel like um, if that's what it's meant to do. Oh, that's fine. It's kind of like the power block in my, you know, it, it, like with the power block, you can just kind of shake the remote. Of course, it's not in this game, but like kind of get a gist. It's kind of like a quick little like annoyance that you can kind of get, get, you know, get over with. Because um, like the blooper, like again, it's it covers a little bit of of your eyesight. You can't like see too much. But you can still see a decent a bit, you know, a decent bit. Um, I feel like if they were to make it, you know, more annoying, could be worse off. I mean, it's like, I like it because it's something that it's not, you know, too important, but you still have to watch out for them. But I think if they kind of tweaked it a bit, because if it, if it covered the entire screen, like, that's, that's ridiculous. But, you know, I don't know. Moving on. Let's see, what's what could be a next item? I should probably like just pick and choose, but like I just wanna make sure this is properly I don't wanna like make any changes afterwards, which I, I will, but I mean we'll see. Um put the star in S tier, I think. I, I gotta like What's more important should probably go on the left, right? So I'm gonna put it like right here. I don't know. Um yeah, I like this one a lot. You can use it in first place, so you have that advantage. Unlike the bullet bill where kind of slows down and stops like top three area so um yeah but it's not as fast it's um you're invincible which is nice and you get a little bit of a speed uh, increase which is nice um but yeah it's it's perfect you know you can use it any position you want um you're invincible and you go fast i mean um it could be difficult on maps like like a rainbow road or something difficult with um of edges that don't have any bar barriers in, so you could probably fall off the map, maybe. But it's ultimately not too bad, um, so that's good. Uh, I mean, excuse me, not ultimately too bad. It's it's great because it's nasty, you know. It's ultimately a solid option. Uh, all right, uh, I think the banana can go to C tier. Um, it's a banana. <laughs> it's um, it's good. In first place, it's fine. I mean, it's a good way to block uh, incoming attacks. But, like, you also have, like, you have shells, you have triple bananas, you got triple shells. Like, you got other things you can use to block it. I think even the fire can block some stuff, too. So, it's like, eh, you know? But, and the boomerang can block stuff. So, you got a lot of options. And just one banana, like, it's that's kind of annoying. Um, I feel like people are going to say that the point should be a little higher up because... You could ultimately gain more speed having more coins, but like, you know, I think that <clears throat> it's just so it's just so small of an amount that it's not really worth it. Um, and depending on how customizable your car is, I mean, it could just totally not be important, you know, compared to somebody else's uh, speed on their car or whatnot, cart or whatever. I usually say car, but it's a, you know, it's a cart, more cart, but I, whatever. <clears throat> um. King Boo, or not King Boo, just Boo. There's no crown. Uh, they're gonna be as well. It's tough because I like. Oh shoot. I don't know honestly. Maybe I'll leave an A. I, I might change this later, but I think it's solid. Um, you're invincible for like to everything. 
and then they maybe I'll give an A. Depends though, because sometimes they don't give you a good item. King or I always King the King Boo. I apologize. Um, Boo is like I don't know with them because sometimes you don't get anything good. Like I got like a banana peel in like I don't know like seventh place. I'm like that's not really that effective. Um, I was invincible for a little while, which is nice. Um, well, invisible and invincible, uh, I guess. So I'm like, it's nice, but, uh, but I don't know. I'll keep it in B for now. I'm just trying to think of what goes in A. Um, oh boy. Well, alright, I can I can go with, um, I think with the, no, I don't know. The bomb is another one. B or A? I don't know. Oh, okay, here. Go with the, uh, oh, what's this? This is called, uh, this is, it's just the sound box. Let me see what it's called. Let me look it up real quick. Sound box, Mario, cards, eight. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Super horn. I, I apologize. The super horn. I'm glad I looked that up. Um, see, exactly what I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I don't know in terms of, um, names, so I apologize. I just call it like the you know the sound box. It makes a sound and it's a box. Um, yeah, A tier for me. Um, people might say, well, I don't really know what you guys are gonna say, but when I I'll tell you when I first started playing more car and I saw this guy, I'm like, fine, it's a cool way to block your friends that are next to you or incoming shells. I'm like, whatever, it's okay. But the main thing of why it's an A tier item is that. It blocks the blue shell. Like that's almost that's ridiculous. That is crazy. Um so I don't know if that means they should go into S tier just because of that. But it's really nice because first place can just hold on to that. And then they can whenever that blue shell comes, you know, use the uh use the super horn. I, I totally remember that one. Um the name. Uh so I think it's a solid A tier. It's probably gonna be like the top one in A tier just because of how effective it is. Um, I don't really have many downsides to it, just, I guess, you know, compared to, like, what you could have, like, some triple mushrooms or whatnot, like, I know, I, I'd rather go with those than, um, a once in a while chance of such a huge play happening, and then you have to be in first place for that, too, it's, I don't know, it's very effective, you know, it blocks a lot of stuff, <coughs> and I, I assume if you're, you know, if you spend some time playing Mario Kart, you're gonna get used to the timing of the button to hit it. So, not much of a negative involved with this at all, which is great. Um, <clears throat> I think with triple bananas as well in A tier. Ah, see, we're getting some stuff in A tier now. Um, mainly just because um, they're, they're solid, you know, um, but you can only use them defensively. Uh, I mean, you could try to, like, snipe it, you know, throwing it in front of you, but you risk a chance of hitting yourself if you don't move properly <laughs> enough. Um, which is kind of hard to do, um, in terms of getting hit by your own banana. But it's happened before, I hate to admit it. Uh, and then also, there's a chance, well, chance of you not hitting the person in front of you. So, like, only defensive, which can be helpful in first place, of course. You don't have to hold it down or anything, it's just there. Um, but, like, I don't know, I just, it's not, it's just, it's very one-sided, and therefore a little bit more limited than the other options. Um, but again, three bananas, better than one. Um, or just a banana peel, but you know what I mean. Um, solid A-tier option, because defense is very huge in this game, especially when you're in the top uh, positions. So you want to make sure you're protected. So it's good to have these guys here. And then I'm also... See, I'm going... I just... It was so funny. I just mentioned how, like, oh, I don't know what's going to be an A-tier. We got another one. The three green shells. Um... Certainly can't be in the same categories of red shells because there's the same thing but a little worse, in my opinion. Like you could be more strategic with it and like bounce it off the walls and stuff to try to hit your opponents. Um, but like I just don't see it. Um, that is a very effective item compared to the ones in the S tier. Uh, it's nice. I mean, three shells. I mean, no matter what color, are gonna help you in both offense and defense. But you know, more more likely to be an, uh, a, a defensive uh, item. For me, personally, I've had some bad experiences with the green shells. I, for some reason, I just I throw it in the side of the wall, try to hit somebody, 
and just for some reason just bounces back and hits me. I, I don't know what happened. I, did, I feel like it's just a, like a personal gripe I have with it, but like, I don't know. I did, I did find it to be a little bit more uh, disappointing um, for me, but in terms of like everybody else, it's solid. Um, three shells again. You can block anything really. You can hit people close to you. I mean, you might not be the most accurate shooter in the world, but you can definitely hit them with this um, bounce off the walls. You probably hit like a banana in front of you too, so like... A lot of options with these guys. And the three of them? I mean, that's great. Boomerang guy. Uh, I'll probably put him in the middle of B. Uh, mm, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> kind of like a never ending. Well, not never ending, but like. Um, kind of like a mini green shell in a way. Like, you can just kind of throw it in front of you, throw it behind you. I mean, it, com it comes back to you for a boomerang, you know? So, like, that's cool. So, theoretically, you could throw it at somebody, collect your item box. Uh, and then have it in your back pocket. So, like, that's kind of cool. Um, it's a pretty cool tool in terms of that kind of stuff, you know. Um, I don't really have too much to say about it, though. I, did, I don't know. I I like it, but sometimes it's in the way of other items I want to use. Um, sometimes I can't reach anybody because of how limited the the length of it is. I mean, it's still got some some, some length to it, of course. But it's like it doesn't have enough uh, as I want sometimes, I guess. Uh, but again, very solid item. I mean, you can do a lot with it. And you get it back, so in case you do miss a hit, I mean, it's just gonna come back to you, which is nice. Uh, as boomerangs often do. <laughs> um, I think it's only fair to bring the A, uh, the H2S tier, excuse me. But... Uh, the minor grip, but I'm gonna put it like... Uh, I guess... Uh, put it here. I'll put it right, right in the middle. Because, like, I believe that, um, once you get the 8, I thought it was to my knowledge, I could be wrong with this, but I believe that, like, others can kind of run into you and, like, be a attacked by the stuff that's floating around you. Because once you get the 8, you know, you get those 8 items and they rotate around you, which is awesome, but that's super cool. But from, like, my personal experience, it's kind of hectic. You know, I, I want to make sure I properly use the items while also looking at the road and watching out for other uh, racers. So I have some issues with it just because of the fact that like, it's kind of hard to pick and choose what you want to do because it's kind of like in a carousel um, around you. And you know, it's fine of course, but like I believe people can run into it and like um, get hit by stuff. So it kind of ruins, like kind of ruins the flow a little bit. I could be totally wrong with that, but I believe people can run into it as it's rotating around you. Uh, but it's got a lot of good stuff in there. I mean, it's got uh, everything you need. <laughs> uh, no bullet build, but I mean, it's got basically everything else. Um, I mean, it's 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 a great tool to have. Um, there's really nothing wrong with it besides the minor issues what I mentioned before. But that's like nothing, nothing really at all. So, and it's got the star in it too. So I'm like, might as well just leave it in front of it. You know, it's no point in not having it in front. Um, so I like that a lot. Um, and it's probably pretty rare to get. I mean, I've only gotten them like once every, like, however many uh, games I've played. Um, I'm going to say, like, once every, like, 20 races or something like that. I don't know how off that is, but that's pretty realistic, in my opinion, of how often I get it. So, again, very solid item. Uh, also in B tier is going... Well, not also. Well, to add to the B tier, got uh, the Fire Flower. Uh, nice item, you know, you can, you can spam it to people, you know, um, it's good, it's good offensive weapon. You can also use it on defense, I believe, against shells and some other things, um, but you can clear the path for a lot of bananas in front of you, or other people in front of you, um, I guess just watch out, because it kind of acts like a green shell, where it, like, bounces around a lot, and, um, could affect you <laughs> in the process, which is, like, just something you have to watch out for, but... Very solid item, and I think it's it's well deserving to be in B tier. You know, it doesn't do a perfect job, or I mean, it, it does its job. You know, it's not like it's not really built to be like a top tier item, I don't believe. So there's that. Um, so. And then the golden mushroom. I'm gonna put that right here. It is probably my favorite item. You are super fast with it, and you can. You, I like how well, I'll get to it in a second, but you can use it so much within a very short time frame. 
you can cut through so many corners like these guys can do. You know, you're not invincible, but like you can escape a lot of attacks with it. Um, and you're, I think you're, I think you're faster than a bullet bill, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so great item, I must say. Um, and I do like the addition of how in this game it has. Um, you can see how long you have left until it disappears, which is great because in Mario Kart Wii they didn't have that. So when I'd play and I got the golden mushroom, I'm like, okay, great, I can use it, use it, use it. You know, I'm trying to cut the grass and then just stops. I'm like, dang it! <laughs> you know, it's like, then everybody catches up to me because I'm already on the grass. I'm like, for goodness sake, you know? So, um, yeah, there, there's my uh, only gripe with it, but it's got fixed because of the, because of, um, the new game having um, the timer on it. That's, that's huge. So, really nothing wrong with it. I mean, like, it would just be over overpowered if you had it be invincible as well. Like, you can't make it, like, the most, like, every, I feel like every item has to have, like, a decent balance. You can't make it ridiculous. Um, because, like, the bullet bill, it's like, you can't use it in first place. That's, it's, like, only gripe. Um, I mean, the eight, you know, it's kind of hectic in terms of, like, trying to do what you want to do. Uh, I mean, the star could be faster, you know, um, but it's, you know, it, it is solid. If it was faster, that would be kind of unfair. Uh, and again, like, everything's got, you know, a good, healthy balance to it. Um, some of them, though, don't really, you know, are not in a good way, you know, like, it's more negative than, than, than solid, so. But they all, they all act, um, in a way that makes it, uh, somewhat balanced. We'll go through next. Blue shell would be probably an A tier item. Go right there, right next to the. Actually, yeah, I think probably A tier. Yeah, you know what? I'll go with A tier. The only problem is where do I put it in A tier? I'm gonna leave it there for now. I, I don't know. Um, no. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's tough. I really don't know what I want to go with, but I want to leave it there. Right next to the super horn. I did not just check my phone for the name again. <laughs> um, I like it a lot. It's much more improved because I always refer to the Wii because I think that's when I first remember some of these things. I feel like, no, it was before the Wii. I, I think. I'm not too sure when the origin was for this, but I remember for the longest time it was just you throw it in the air and it goes to the first place guy, takes him out. Um, now it's got spikes and it acts as like a shell so it could theoretically hit people on the way to first place i think that's huge um that's makes it much more valuable than it was before and i think that's great that is that's awesome and again you know it warns you so you can move out of the way um but still it can it can affect more than just one person uh and even then when it hits the first place guy there could be second and third right next to them that could get hit in the crossfire as well so very nice item. The only thing I could say that's wrong about it, or that I don't like that much about it, um, would be that if you are to get it, sometimes you get it like in a very far back position, like ninth place. Is a, yeah, I believe I got a ninth place one time. But you know, like I get it a lot when I'm not, when I can't really use it as effectively as possible. Like I can get it in the mirror on the back half of my um, positioning. So, I mean, theoretically, I guess I could be in ninth place. I don't know exactly what number I was when, I, you know, when I, if I want to, like, actually make uh, an example out of this, but, like, middle to back, and you get this thing. Like, it's fine, but, like, if I'm that far back, I want to get further closer. I don't need the first guy, the first place guy to get hit with it. Um, some people get it, you know, and they, they're, they're close enough to first place where that that's actually huge. But imagine being like, you know, half a <laughs> half a half the track like behind or whatever. And you, you find this blue shell. I'm like, oh great, blue shell, but like how am I supposed to reach the guy to really enjoy it? Like second and third place might really like it, but how am I gonna like it? <laughs> you know? So um that's that's fine though. That's like the only gripe. And it's usually a big help because you're usually close enough where you can uh, make it a little easier for yourself. It's it's gonna be a good thing, but like how good will it be? That's the question. That's like, I guess it's up to you, but overall, definitely an A tier. Some might say better, but I'd say A tier. 
Uh, I think green shell can go right over... Eh, right over here. Um, it's just one green shell. It's, it's good, but like, again, you can block, you can throw, just like the ones I mentioned before. Not much to explain there. And red shell, just more accurate. I'm gonna go with... I don't even know. I mean, I might just put it both the fire. I just, it's more, it's more accurate to where I want to hit somebody. Like if I, if I see somebody, I want to hit him with this thing. Not have a chance to hit him with the fire. Like I know for a fact this is going to hit the guy unless he has a banana or whatever. Which then maybe the fire would be better because you could block the banana and maybe hit the guy. But I feel like it's more reliable going with the red shell. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, final three. We got bomb, mushroom, and lightning. Mushroom I could probably, probably put also in the B tier. Put it right there. Cut corners with the with the mushroom. That's huge. And it's a it's a decent amount of boost too, so like you have a pretty good way of uh, escaping with that. I like that a ton. And it's more practical, I think, than the other items on here. Um below that are below it. Uh, that's all I gotta say about it so I mean I mentioned a lot of the stuff with um, the S tier version of it instead, so like I don't want to go out of my way and uh, spend more time than I already am. Um, bomb. I might make it. Oh, I don't know. Very end of A or very top of B. I don't know. I want to go very top of A or very back of A, and I'm going to do that for now. The bomb is nice. It is. Again, it's you throw it, it's a bomb. It's gonna hit a lot of people. But the problem is you have to actually hit them. And that's where I find the issue with. It's difficult because you wanna make sure you hit the guy. You know, you wanna make sure you can use it properly. But the problem is you might not be in a position where you can do that. And if you are, you might not hit him in time because it's it's a it's a timed item. You throw it, take a few seconds to explode, then it explodes. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've died seeing the thing. I'm like, oh no, bomb, oh no, boom, you know, and I, I get wiped out. Uh, that's, that's hilarious. I like that. But, you know, I can't really throw it in front of me because I feel like I could hit myself with it, like, on my way up there by the time it explodes. I can miss the guy. Like, I can't really hit someone in first place. They're just going to run away from it. So it's usually more defensive for me, using it behind me so that, like, people in behind me can, can take it. Uh... I mean, if we can use it in the first place, it'd be huge, but I don't really know how often it happens. Um, but I definitely like the item itself. It's very it's very useful for me. But it's very situational, which I think is the only gripe I have about it. That's why I was wondering if I should put it in B tier or the back of A tier. I think I'm going to put it in the back of A tier for now. And the lightning. The lightning will become... Ooh, top of A tier? Or bottom of S tier? I don't know. Because it's good, but like... Mm, probably, yeah, it's it's so it's so well-known and very... Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to put the, the very end of S tier. Uh, great item. It hits everybody. Unless you have the star, the bullet bill, um, maybe the boo, I think. And that's it. So, or the eight, which happens to have the star. So... Um, kind of hard to get, hit, uh, kind of hard to, to avoid it, excuse me, but, um, it's a possibility. Um, uh, that's probably, like, the only gripe I have about it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a solid item. It's very nice. Like, it hits everybody. So if you're in last place, everybody gets lightninged, then you can just, you know, you'll be faster because you're a bigger vehicle, um, for the time being. Um, and I like how it goes from back to first, like... 12th place to first place um like making it so you revive faster than the guy in first that's really cool so it helps other people out as well with it um i just feel like it might not be as effective like say you're in last place do you really want a lightning or would you rather go with like, some mushrooms to try to build up some more speed to get going you know lightning could be helpful but like you know depending on how far back you are i don't know how how closer you can get to first because people can revive somewhat faster especially like in 11th place and stuff you know, um, I'm, I'm kind of nitpicking here, but um, I'm trying to give a good positive and negative about each item. Because not every item is perfect. I mean, again, like I said, there, if you make an item that can do everything, then it's just going to be 
um, overpowered and unfair. So it's good to have a nice little balance, and I think every every item's got some balance with it. So there you have it, though. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or just regular? I don't know. Uh, items to your list uh, maker. Um, these. This is my list. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything I want to fix. I think everything's good for now. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this, you know, um, if you think that I did a bad job, or if you think that you liked it, um, or if you want some minor tweaking or whatnot, please let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I don't expect this to be very serious, like, I'm a casual player, so, like, I'm not gonna know all the ins and outs of the Mario Kart items. I certainly think I did a solid job with, um, the, generally where they should go, like, the items that are pretty solid to go in a pretty solid position. Um, and again, no one's, no one's list is going to be perfect, or should be perfect. I think everybody's got the right to have their own opinion to their tier list. Uh, it's what they think, it's their, it's their opinion, so how can it be wrong? Um, but, um, but I'm always open to discussion. If you guys think that there's something that should be fixed, I might let you know in the comments below if I agree with that. I mean, um, I think it's, I can be easily persuaded, I think. Um, and uh, you can always give me some of a um, bit of a um, different view than I would have known um, with this with this tier list because it could be something that I just didn't think about. You know, and then you can mention it to me, and I uh, I might change my view that way. Uh, but I'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable with this. If there's any small changes, I'm sure that'd be a, that'd be fine. But like this is generally what I would say is what I look forward to. Like. S to F, from what I look forward to the most and get excited for versus what I just don't like to see um, when I um, when I play more Kart 8. I always say 8 or 8 Deluxe. It's really much the same thing except more stuff than 8 Deluxe, but like in terms of items, no big difference. Uh, thank you again for watching. Um, like I said, comment below what you think. Um, want to subscribe would be great um i mainly do stuff on twitch though so if you ever want to uh watch me live and uh, maybe play some more Kart with me or other community-based events just watch me play something um it's gonna be a ttb forward slash mild water um thank you all very much for watching uh, i hope you had as much fun as i did uh throughout the creation of this video and whatnot um but with that being said have a great day and i'll catch you later